When you first answer the call to lead the communications efforts in your congregation, it can seem a bit overwhelming. Just remember, you're not alone. Here at United Methodist Communications, we've put together five of the top tips you'll need to get started. One, define your role. Meet with church leaders to discuss what they expect from your position. One size does not fit all, but in general, your purpose is to keep the congregation in the know about what's going on in the church and the denomination, and to challenge the congregation through stories of faith in action to bring people closer in their walk with God. Some responsibilities might include promoting the church's mission, coordinating communications to and from members through newsletters and other announcements, promote church-related events with opportunities for volunteers, contribute to the church's website, and utilize church social media tools. Be specific when setting expectations and writing goals. Two, reach out. One of the best parts of the United Methodist Church is that we're connectional. First, make contact with your annual conference communications director. He or she can inform you about conference-wide programs, resources, and workshops. Look for stories in your own church that can possibly be highlighted in conference news. Check your conference website and their social media pages regularly for ideas. The same goes for United Methodist Communications. Check out umc.org and umcom.org for ideas. Also, get acquainted with local church communicators in your hometown. You never know when a collaboration opportunity might pop up. 3. Form a committee. Find out who else in your church has a passion for communications and tap into their gifts and talents by asking them to join your team. It's a good idea to consider all ages and abilities. Someone might have an exceptional grasp of Facebook while another person is a great photographer or writer. Walking this path with others is not only practical, it saves everyone involved time and stress. 4. Listen to the congregation. It doesn't matter if you're providing the best material in the history of church communications if the congregation isn't consuming the information. Ask people what info they want and how they want to receive it. What will keep them in the know? What will help them grow spiritually? Do they want to receive this news via text, e-newsletter, traditional newsletter, or via social media? Survey the congregation with written or electronic questionnaires and consider holding listening sessions for more in-depth discussions. Include all demographics. 5. Plan ahead. Meet with your communications committee and church leadership to develop an 18-month calendar. Identify the major events in the church year, including vacation Bible school, Easter, Advent, and Christmas events, and special Sunday offering times. The United Methodist program calendar can help you with the specific church-wide dates. Identify general audiences you want to reach and communication tools you'll want to use. Estimate budgets and plan how to fund it. Set a date to make your detailed plans and when to begin implementing them. Within a week or two following an event, evaluate your efforts and start planning for next year. If you have questions, contact us at infoserve at umcom.org. We also encourage you to browse umcom.org for in-depth details and specific tips for church communications topics.